Well, hello again from Kingston. It's a cold and windy day here, but it's been a very interesting month on the third crossing. The first concrete girders were actually placed um, this week. So in this February update, we'll give you a good idea of what's happening as we reach the beginning of the end. If you like these reports, please like and subscribe to the, uh, to the channel and let me know in the comments what you prefer to see or you prefer not to see. Thanks for watching. We'll start our visit at the East End, where the last of the piles is being prepared to accept the cross beams that will eventually support the bridge. The work involves drilling well down into the bedrock. There's a near constant flow of deliveries and there's always something going on on the construction site. It goes without saying that before delivery of the first concrete girders, it was important to inspect the piers upon which they would rest. There was some understandable excitement about the arrival of the first two concrete girders after a 350 km journey from Utopia near Barrie in Ontario. These are the first of some 96 girders in all, and they'll arrive twice weekly and uh, in pairs for the uh, next several months. This view gives you an idea of the considerable size of each girder. It was possible to lift the first two girders into place after a delay of two days caused by high winds. It's a two crane lift and the truck backs the girder in uh, beside the cranes. It's not a particularly complex operation, but because safety is paramount in every case, it does take some time. These views of Bridget are for all her many fans.
Well, that's it for February. I'm uh, off to get a hot cup of coffee now. And don't forget, let me know what you think about these. And bear in mind, in the description below the video, there's information on many of the equipments you've seen. Take care. See you in March.